all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 24. Well, we got a lot accomplished on day 23. We got all of this production facilities. We've got, got the uh, extractor, the oil extractor. We got the oil cracker in. We got the chemical plant in. Which, as it turns out, we didn't necessarily need to get this one in. But I do like the way that it uh, I've got it set up here. Uh, I am going to have to change this up a little bit. Uh, and put an access point in right here. So that uh, I can, uh, when I bring in the niter and whatnot, I can uh, offload it into here. Uh, and we actually went out and got a load of oil sand which is still processing but i'll show you the exciting part is well you can see that it's still processing the oil but here is the exciting part well, let's get over here we have we now have 50 advanced computers and I think I've got this set up. Let's see. Yeah, to build 50. Uh, why don't we set this at maybe 10? Set. And that should start building. Uh, the rest of this stuff don't need to really worry about too much so we'll build the display and we've got the advanced computer so that will be working away uh, so what I want to do right now is I want to get our solar power going and that's what I'm going to be working on today get the solar power done oh and I'll go take a look but I needed to do this. All right. Uh, but I did add. Where am I going? Let's get back down here. I did update the uh, task list a little bit. And. I added uh, finish the ore, ore purifier. I also added uh, what did I add? Uh, oh, control room. I want to. This obviously needs a control room to to look more like a base. I mean, it's great we've got all of these things sitting out here, but we don't really have a central facility, and so I've got to figure out where to put that. Uh, might be somewhere over on this side. Might have to do some readjusting to put in uh, a building in here. But that, that's the one thing that we need to, to get in, is, is to build a building so that we can uh, have a basic control room. So, let's see here. Uh, so, I've got uh, let me uh, let me just grab my parts uh, and there we go let's see if we can finish this programming programmable block and that will put us well on our way to getting this solar tower done yeah all right perfect and I will be putting in, oh, it doesn't have any power. Uh, that's part of the problem. That'll be a problem. Uh, well, once I get the, the solar panels up, it will have power. But I'm thinking, let me see something here. Yeah, I can at least get to, uh, let's do that while I'm thinking about it. And that uh, rotor is locked. I want to lock them. And in the programmable block, we will be using Izzy Solar Alignment script. So, what 
do I need to do here? Get back up here. Uh, so I need to put a block up here. And I'm trying to decide how I want to do that. If it's just going to be a square block. Or if I want to try... Let me try something like this. I think that will work. I don't know how it will look. But if I could do that... I need to put two rotors on the end of it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'll decide once I get uh, this kind of somewhat laid out up here. Uh, I will uh, catch back up with you all when I maybe have the wireframe set up for the solar panel. I'll be back in a bit. Well, I thought you guys might be interested in seeing this. I have a unknown signal that's just about to land right on top of me. Literally. I've never had one kind of come this close. Would you look at that? How about that? Well, let's just see what we got. Grab that, 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 that. And did we get anything? Where is the button at on this? I don't think it's done. I think it's down below. I think I've got to. Let's uh, clip that off and clip that off. Now let's see if we can push this thing over. Come on. Over, over, over. There you go. Alright, let's see what we got. Or see if we get anything. Hey, another, another badger welder. Alright. Well, let me grind this thing all down. I just kind of thought you guys would thought that, that would be kind of interesting. That is just right there on top of us. I mean, literally. I was up on the scaffolding. Matter of fact, I'll show you the scaffolding while I'm at it. Come on, get all of these. There we go. So I got quite the scaffolding going to get up to the top. I'm building the routers out right now and I'm getting all the parts for them so that they're in place. Uh, and I have them all locked and sharing inertia so that as I build that out I shouldn't run into any problems with that. And then once, uh, once I have everything in place then the solar alignment script should take over. So anyway, those right there were just for measurement. Uh, I needed to make sure I was up at least high enough because I am going to go with four and then two underneath that. And then on top there'll be four and then two on top. And that's a total of 12. And then I'll have 12 on the other or a total of 12 on the other side for a total of 24 panels. So that should give us quite a bit of energy. And then I've got to be able to uh, set some stuff up so that we can start storing that as well. So anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. Thought you'd find it interesting that that uh, unknown signal was dropping on top of us. I'll be back in just a little bit. All right. Well, I at least got all the wireframe done on this. And I'll kind of give you a little, show you exactly what I've got done. And as you can see, I have uh, two and then four 
let me get over here on the other side. So I have two, four, four, and two. So that gives me a total of uh, 12 on this side and 12 on this side. Actually, I could take, let me take these down because these were just here for, get out of the way. There we go. All right, that's out of there. Now, the plan is, of course, all of that scaffolding is going to come down. Uh, and I'm going to go up to the top and I'll start building from the top down. Uh, I will put my uh, power poles in right, probably will put it right on this corner here. And then I can uh, build a... Uh, because as that rotates, that shouldn't come, uh, that should come nowhere near. Actually, I'll probably put it on this one. This will be good right here. And those panels will come nowhere near uh, hitting, hitting that power pole. And then I'll have it come straight out and tie it into uh, a pillar, just kind of like I did there, and then run it over here to the grid. I'll have to put another uh, pole in here, so I'll probably just uh, add more more blocks in right there. And that should, and then that'll bring that in. Now the other thing I have to do, well I want to finish this today, and I need to figure out uh, a way of storing that without having to have uh, we don't have lithium yet, so we can't really store up power. So we have these capacitors that we can build. These electron matrix banks would be perfect, but they we're, we're not close to that technology yet. We need armor glass, we need quantum computers, and electron mat matrix cells which I think those all are made in the next assembler up. So really our choice is this right here, I think. Uh, and I'm not sure how functional that will be. Uh, we also have these small acid batteries, or actually a large acid battery. Uh, can recharge to 75% and I think it will and it stores up uh, like it says it stores a modern amount of power so I'm thinking maybe we put a bank of these in these aren't too expensive other than the acid power cell and I think that that's the advanced computer that makes that or the advanced uh, advanced assembler and I've got to run down here anyway, so let's uh, let's just see what that takes. And maybe we have gotten what we need now to be able to make that kind of stuff. Let's just take a look here. Uh, production. Uh, basic. Uh, what does make that? The fabricator? Or the actually the regular assembler? Is that, uh, is that this guy here? Assembler production acid power cells. So it takes actually yeah it takes ice sulfur. We are getting sulfur now with the oil sand, and so we would be able to make these. Uh, acids power cells so I think that's what I'm going to do uh, I need to make one f and put in our turrets and then I probably will want to put in like I don't know five or six if as much as I can maybe put them in 
right, just run a, a row of them. Uh, maybe just run a row of them right through here, basically as part of the floor. And then that will store power. Uh, that will store all of the solar power during the day, and it will also continue to store that uh, wind power. So that would be a, a pretty good boost. Anyway, all right, let, well, let me get back to building here. Oh, I was going to charge up. Uh, let me get back to building. I need to actually get my parts. So let me uh, do that, and I will uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit. Okay, I am uh, actually just about done with this. Uh, I'm going to weld in the last piece here. And you kind of see my funky, uh, where is it? My scaffolding, we need to take that down. There it is, that's the last piece there. I'm pretty happy. We'll get the scaffolding out of the way and then uh, we can uh, set up the solar script. So let me start taking this scaffolding down. If I can do it without killing myself. There, 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 there. I've already taken a couple of uh, industrial falls off of here. Didn't kill me, but I did have to go uh, to the infirmary. All right. Let's get that. A couple of more here. Go. Let's come over here and take this down. Alright, that's out of the way. Start taking this side down. There we go. Come on. There. Okay. How close are we here? Oh, we're pretty close. Let's get these. I want to make sure I'm not... Uh... Alright. So that's my escape route there. So we can take you and you and you and I think we're good to take you Take you, and then, there we go, all right. I've managed to not uh, cut something out from underneath me at this point. All right, let's see, there, so we can take you, I think, and you, hop here. All right, looking pretty good. All right, that's that. We can take that. Oh, I think we're gonna get down here unscathed. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's actually do it over on this side over here. Well, I think that looks pretty good. I like it and there's plenty of ground clearance here so let's see if we can get the solar script set up I gotta do a couple of things I have to uh, I have to make a all right let's actually let's do it like this programmable block Edit, browse scripts, 
browse scripts. There we. Uh, there should be. How come they're not showing up? Refresh. There they are. Okay. Uh, solar. Easy solar alignment. That's the one we want. Panel alignment script. So I need to create a group called Solar Rotors. And check code. That's all I need to do is once I get done here, all right, so let's copy to the editor. Check code, okay. All right. Okay, now let's... Uh, do this, the three rotors. Great, called Solar. Rotors. Save. Now let's see what's happening. Nothing. All right, let's do something here. Uh, let's grab all of these and make sure they're unlocked. Okay. It actually is probably at 100. Well, it might take a few minutes for it to adjust. Uh, let's just double check. They are all getting full maximum power. They're all at 100%. Uh, warning, no batteries found. Yeah, I do want to store the power, but... And it says aligning one vertical rotor. I think it's in pretty good shape. I think it's doing its thing. All right. So the next thing we need to do is uh Yeah, it did a lot. Yeah, it's aligning them. It's moving them. Okay. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I missed a block up there. Well, it's just going to have to stay undone for the time being. That doesn't look too bad with that sitting there like that anyway. So, I can live with that for right now. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, uh, I need to... What I need to do is... Set up. Let's go nine. I probably need what I wonder is should I I don't know how it will look. Uh, I think I want to put transformer right there which I need steel plates and I'm going to need a couple of those uh, actually I'm going to need three so let's get three of these so we can bring this into the power grid 
One. Two. Three. All right. I need at least two cement blocks. One. Two. Three, four. All right, I think that will do. Oh, yeah, those panels have all lined up nicely. Okay, so let's get this one into place. That right there. The old uh, jump up. Come on. All right, that one's complete. Now I think we want to bring it over to about. right here. Well, that creates quite a shadow there, doesn't it? All right, let's uh, plop down a couple of these cement blocks. I'll kind of keep it somewhat lined up here. All right, let's put one right there, there. And that's looking pretty good. All right, I think nine. What I want to do is put Let's uh, rotate that. Can't tell which way, I think. Oh, come on, come on. Ah. Uh. That's the way I want it. Let's put that right there like that. And then again, the old jump up trick. And shoot, I meant that to be yellow, like all the rest. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Four. That color. No block. There we go. I think that's got it. All right. Okay. Now I think I'm going to have to put a couple of more put another couple of blocks in here. You know what? I think I need to paint this. There we go. And... Alright. Let's uh, go back to red. And let's go to six. Block there and a block there. All right, and another power transformer right here. Oh, and four. Let's bring that back to the right color. Nine. Put that right there. Over 
here. Alright, that's... Okay, now we just gotta hook them up. the cable. Where are we going? Over here. Let's hook this in. Ah, come on. There we go. All right. Now we need to take this. to here and we now have our power our solar powers into our grid and let's see if we can see they should be showing up here and there's all the solar panels 99.7% they're producing almost 250 kilowatts. Uh, everything. That looks good. So that means we've got one, two, three. Well, we got uh, 12. We've got 24 panels. 24 panels. Let me see something here. 24 panels times 250. That's given us uh, a total of 6 megawatts of power. So that should help supplement the system. Now, as I was mentioning, I need to, I really do need to get some batteries put into place here. And I'm thinking one, two, three, four, five, maybe ten batteries just running them out right along here. And that would be the, let's see, gee, the, uh, the alkaline, produces a small amount of power, cannot be recharged. So, this one can store up to, or it can recharge up to 75%, which I think that is what I need, and it can store 1.5 megawatts, so if I put 10 of them in there, uh, that would really make a difference, I think. And what do I need? I put those in there like that. Get up here. Well, of course I can't get up there. Can I get up there from this side? There we go. So, I think I want to put them in that way. And, of course, I need steel plates. Uh... All right, so I need to get busy on making, wow, 100 acid power cells. I think we'll start, uh, I'll get the wireframe in, and then if we can at least build a few at a time, I think that will work. So let me go get a few steel, at least 10. Uh, go to the plate. Plate. Let's get. Uh, let's grab 20 for now. I hope this isn't going to be too much of an investment. But I think we need to do this. 
energy low. Oh, come on. All right. So if we put these in here, uh, we put them like that. There we go. I'll tell you one thing. Everything uses a lot of power. Come on. Uh, there we go. I don't remember. They're probably all mixed up, I'm sure. Okay. Oh, 345 feet away. I think what I will do is uh, go grab that. All right. Well, I tell you what. I will catch back up with you all here in just a little bit. Uh, once I go get charged up, I'll go grab that unknown signal. And I'll get uh, try to get two of these batteries built. So I'll be back in just a little bit. All right. Well, I've got the batteries in place up there. You saw me place those. I did grab that uh, uh, signal, which was just right off over there in the distance. I've, I grabbed that. And I've got the things the acid cells being made for the batteries but they are slow uh, let me show you production so it's going to take a while for those batteries to get made so I've got that uh, working away right now and we'll let those keep plugging away I think we're getting pretty close to a good spot to stop uh, I am looking like I need to go eat something anyway. Uh, down to five. So, we got a lot done today. I got that uh, solar panels all in. And I should, what I should do is update. Uh, let's update our LCD to show that our... Uh... Solar is done. Let's edit and let's put a big X right there. Do that. Do that. And I think that's everything that we can. Yeah. So that is done. So we got another another item on the checklist done. And we can see solar. So the next thing, I am going to have to add coal. And we can do that. So I think the next episode we were gonna we'll finish up the ore purifier, and we'll get the coal in place, and we'll get some of those batteries built. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go grab a little bite to eat uh, before I start uh, dying here. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, please hit that uh, uh, thumbs up if you like the video. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.